And furthermore, you're assuming that just because you feel a certain way, that that makes you a woman. And, and I think that people are taking their feelings into, we are giving their feelings way too much credit, bro. Way too much credit, homie. Right? Just because you, like, like, like the person was saying earlier, just because you feel like a duck, it don't make you a duck. Relax. May switch between the two. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the bottom line in all of this is... Gender fluid? Gender fluid, yeah. That, that sort of defines somebody who may... Who may Bullshit. Around. And I think the bottom line is people Bullshit. are people. And labels are necessarily pe- very... People are people. Right, 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 right. People are people. And there's two different kinds of people. There's men and there's women. There's nothing wrong with either side. We should be proud of whatever we're born as. Helpful. And whoever and however you live is surely up to you. And if you're not hurting anybody else, you're not breaking any laws, I don't understand what the big deal is about allowing somebody to be themselves. Because first of all, you're not being yourself. But I could give you, I already gave you a few. But I could give you tons of issues of how you are affecting other people. And I'm not saying you have to not be trans if that's how you feel, right? I'm not saying you have to not be trans, but you can't act like you don't affect anything whatsoever. And the moment you come in contact with a child, you're you're affecting the child. The moment you go into a public area and you want to do something that's normally constructed for men and women, you're gonna cause you're gonna cause a problem. And you can't act like you're not. You just it's just not fair to act like you're not causing a problem. It's not fair to act like there's no effect whatsoever. And it's not fair for you to change and then call everybody else wrong. Okay, we should both be able to have conversation back and forth. We should be able to talk about this and figure out what's going on. Because at the end of the day, you might find out that you're in the wrong. Maybe I am in the wrong, but I might not be. And you should be able to talk to me about that instead of being so stuck in your ways that I'm wrong no matter what. And that I'm bigot. I'm a bigot. Do you think, I don't know if you're going on, do you think we are getting to a situation that we can see the road ahead and it leads to the end of the, the binary world? Do you, uh, you know, the like binary, the, world, for example, the binary the, world. The, the, ladies and gents, is, is, has served its time. Well, the actual facilities here are gender neutral. And, this, it was and everybody neutral. is going to the toilet normally, so I don't see what the big deal is. But there's still but, a lot what about the BMA saying that the recommended thing would be not to, to call somebody an expectant mother but a pregnant person I might think, be thinking, I think people think oh come yeah, on I think that that would apply if you it's had somebody the, who I mean, was I mean, not natally so, who was not natally well the awful well. thing about saying you've got a choice between expectant mother or pregnant person is why can't you just be a pregnant woman why do you have to choose between it's femaleness it's, and personhood it's thank an outrageous you. dichotomy to say in place and we see talk- she just wants to be a woman and be proud and she's mad at the trans, at, 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 with this trans, uh, well, this person's four, four trans issues. And she's disingenuous with her because, or sorry, disenfranchised with her because she's saying, I, what's wrong with just being a proud woman? What's wrong with just being a proud man? Why do you have to, why are you, why am I a pregnant person now? Why am I using a neutral bathroom when I know that men and women, should not be in the bathroom at the same time. They do different things in the bathroom. They have different behaviors in the bathroom. Like, it's just privacy. It's not about. It's not about what makes us different. It's just about being private and having. And when you have similarities with people, it's easier to have private moments with those people. So what I'm saying is, when a bunch of guys go into a urinal, it's easier to whip our dicks out and stand at a urinal. There's a woman in there. She's not. She might not want us to whip our dicks out and stand in the urinal. It's just how it is, man. It's just how it is. Talking um, earlier about um, the idea of desistance, about the fact that children sometimes present as trans and ultimately go on not to transition. We're not just talking about single cases. Multiple studies have found that there's an eighty percent tran- um, desistance rate. Can I? Just so, and there on is that? no. Can I just. Come and on there that? is no way Those to tell. Studies. There are Notice how everybody who's even remotely against some of these trans issues gets cut off before they even done saying their sentences. And notice how a lot of them are coming with facts as well. Go back to the 60s and the 70s when the really actual the actual landscape for society is far, far different. Peer-reviewed. 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 She, she went to the 60s and 70s. She's not, out, she's not completely outwardly comparing it to the civil rights movement, but she wants you to think think of it as similar to the civil rights movement. This is not a civil rights issue. This is not nearly the same as racism. 
and she's trying to she's trying to muddy those waters. I'm telling you. What are we into? Has <laughs> anyone got no oh, scientific? Sorry, that, that, do, <laughs> angel, do angels do angels exist? Uh, angels don't exist. Mermaids certainly don't exist. Nobody is born with uh, Angels are gender no non-specific binary fluid. I, Daniel, I, I mean, Daniel Hannan, Daniel Hannan, Susie uh, as, as a as a about, libertarian, yeah. you must think to yourself, you don't give a fig about this. Right, and, and actually, poor media. Twice, Susie was right to say twice. Why is this a problem for anybody else? Very, very good question. I, and therefore, there's a corollary. Of there's is, you there's don't answers. You need to involve the full force of state legislation exactly. in something that is a personal you decision. Do, so if do, you, if you consider, for example, a situation where an employer has an employee who says, I, I'm uh, transitioning, you know, I want to use this toilet rather than that one. I think we all know that that's a kind of situation that normal human relations will accommodate, right? They, they'd work out something that the rest of the workforce would be. How? Experience. How? But as soon as you come in and say, by force of law, you are obliged to do X and Y, then from the point of view of the employer, sorry, it's no longer an employee to whom you owe a duty of care if it comes in. Mean, it it Boom! Sorry, sure. Cut off again, I told you. And he was trying to give them a point, too. He was saying, look, if you just come and talk to us about this, we can work with you. But when you come in with legislation saying that we have to accommodate you because you don't want to be whatever you are, you want to change, you want all of us to accommodate you, well, then now it's it's gone from uh, a mutual agreement to something you're forcing down our throats, and we don't agree with that. And he didn't even get to finish the sentence. And look who's cutting him off. Gone through this, Daniel. I can tell you, there's still a lot of prejudice. We still face huge battles. Calling him prejudice, calling him prejudice, and he's trying to work with him. Crazy. Easy, and it's very easy to say in the abstract that people might be moving on with this, and society might be. But you try, as I have, and bring it home, and you know you're dealing with with maybe children or people close at home, and they battle with this because they want to be uh, in a normal sort of setup, and they want they want to be approved by their peers Sorry, there is sir. still a huge amount of of prejudice but, on this and but, that's why we something need... like saying that you know it's uncomfortable to say expectant mothers we should say pregnant people a lot of people who have sympathy with this think that that's just but ridiculous why, dancing why... on the head of a pin but well it might <laughs> be the, the point it i want ridiculous. to make there is that why are we so fixated on on whether you know we fill in questionnaires and they have to go mm -hmm. male or female for, for goodness sake in this day and age because men and women are wired slightly differently just ever so slightly differently. Sometimes a lot of those wires can are, are similar. Sometimes we're wired more similar, but there's a certain value to a census. There's a certain value to asking women questions and seeing how they feel. There's a certain value to asking men questions and seeing how they feel. I agree that on things like a job application, it's not that important whether or not you're hiring a man or a woman, depending on the job or something like that. You know, certain things you don't really have to separate he and she. But when it comes to at questionnaires, um, studying people, yes, yes, there's absolute value to knowing the difference. Why? Because we're different and there's nothing wrong with being different. Like, that's what I don't like. OK, the equal equality doesn't mean we can't acknowledge us, our differences. It means we're treated with equal opportunity, okay? But that doesn't mean we can't say we're all different. And the moment you introduce transgenderism into everything, you start to you, it starts to imply that we're all the same. And that's just simply not factual. If it was factual, I'd be okay with it, but it's not. It's, why can we not allow people to express themselves how they feel is right? And it's not just about chromosomes. Because just because you feel it's right doesn't make it right. And it is about chromosomes, honestly. I'm sorry, and it's not just about bits of the body. There are also other factors like hormones, but also about the way you, you interpret yourself. And we need to have a society that accepts that. Speaking of hormones, if men and women are so similar, right, and you can change from a man to a woman, why do you have to inject female hormones to make your, to make your dick go soft and make your breasts get grow? Why do you have to inject male hormones to grow facial hair if you're if you're transgendering. Why do you have to do that? Because men and women are different. If you're trying to be happy, you're not an axe murderer. It's all if you're trying You're not an axe murderer. murderer. Like Bernie oh, Bernie Madoff wasn't an axe murderer. <laughs> okay? Like there's tons of people who ruin lives, hurt people. I'm not saying transgenders transgenders ruin lives. But just saying that because you're not an axe murderer, just because you're not an axe murderer doesn't mean you can't do damage. I've done damage in my life. I've hurt people. I've gotten people's ways. 
I've rubbed people the wrong way. I've messed up people's days. I have never murdered anybody, especially not with an ex. Said something in the first debate as well. Quick yes. word here. Yes. We're, we're, we're getting to the end of this. What would you like to say? Right. I went into the toilets in Asda, in Fareham, and I spoke to a member of staff, and I spoke to a customer, and just uh, hello as I walked through. Mm -hmm. First of all, you're a drag queen. Not even necessarily a transgender, but I guess that's an old term. Put the shopping bags in the cubicle. When I came out, I couldn't get out. Male security guard blocking the doorway with a female security guard. And they basically accosted me and said, what are you doing in the ladies' toilet? I said, well, this is the way I'm dressed. Oh my God! The prejudice oozing off of this person is pissing me off. The sexism oozing off of this person is pissing me off. You heard that? He, they asked him, why were you in the ladies' room? He said, look at how I'm dressed. Well, I hear how you talk. I see what you look like under that makeup. I know what you are. I see your I see your bodily features for the most part. Like it like just because you're dressed a certain way that makes you a woman, man? Like that's exactly what she's saying. No, look at how I'm dressed. I put makeup on. I'm a woman. That's ridiculous. I didn't want to go into the gents and scare anybody in there. Scare the men. The men uh no offense, but the men probably would have laughed at you. No offense, I'm just saying, if you're going to scare anybody, you're probably going to scare the women. I'm in the ladies. And they said you shouldn't be in the ladies. And they said you're not a lady. And I said, exactly. how do you know? And the woman turned around to me and said, well, unless you've had the operation and can prove it to us. Even if you haven't had the operation, you're not a... Whatever. We, we can call the police. And I said, well, look, I shop in Asda a lot. It's my second home. I said, I've got bags and bags of shopping. So what? I breaking my neck. I need oh, it. I paid money. So, so, so customer's always right. No, no, no. Go to the loo. So would you please let me leave? So I left. The next time I went into Asda, I went up to the security guard and I said, hello, it's me again. I need the loo. Which loo what if you slapped a lady on the ass? He's like, hey, I'm a lady too. That's not that. It's not that serious, right? What if, like, come on now. What if you did some just, some egregious shit and just said that, oh, I'm a lady. Ladies do that to each other. Like, no, buddy. Sorry, no. What if you were in there complimenting women on their ass and shit like that? Or on their clothes? And you would have rubbed so many people the wrong way. And I can't believe how fucking ignorant you are. Who do you think I should use today? You the one at your, I personally, I think you should use the one at your house. Because it's yours. Why do you have to use a public bathroom? You can't hold it. I know women that hold the bathroom all the day, all day long. I've held the bathroom all day long. I've held myself from going all day long. If you really still have a penis, I know you can hold that shit, bro. I know you can hold that shit. And if you can't hold that shit, I'm sorry. But why cause the issue? He's just saying, you, you just walked right in and said, hey, I'm back. What bathroom should I use today? Like, you know you're causing an issue and you're not even trying to not cause an issue. That's the part of this that is just fucked up. You're not even trying to be genuinely accepted. You know you're, you're causing an issue. And rather than working it out or avoiding the issue, you're poking the people that don't even have a good way to, to fix it. They're just trying to do what they think is right. It's so wrong of you. So fucking wrong of you. Maybe the disabled. He went, I think that would be best. Yeah, yeah, the disabled is best. Because that's a completely neutral bathroom. I, I'm just so worried that nobody's thinking about children. The Thank you. It's not, it's hard cases. Would you have a problem with that? So what's your name? Hard what's, cases what's make name? bad law. Leslie, if Leslie was in the loop with, when you were in the... Oh, wait, wait. Yes, I think, I think I, I would have, probably would have a problem, I'll be quite honest. But, but, but hard cases make bad law. But I agree with Dan, we should be humane and compassionate and decent enough to accommodate individual pieces you don't turn it into the law if you turn it into the law you are doing something terribly damaging and confusing and irresponsible to the, the way we bring children up generally the reason it's doesn't, doesn't do those things what happens when someone someone is discriminating against them then the law surely should be there to, to help to, to well to stop i'm afraid we that. live in this age Sarah, last politics. word very last word we must move it on but if that's discrimination isn't it or would you feel um, uncomfortable i mean i I am, it's mortifying that you've had such an embarrassing experience, but I don't think we should focus so much on toilets. I think toilets <laughs> are a very bad place to set this argument. No, there is a value to, talk to about it. How if we move towards um, self-identity self -identity as the only marker of sex, how that affects 
women in prisons, how that affects oh. women in refuges. Thank you. Of re and how that affects women in sports as well, because women's sports is really not going to be able to carry on existing if male people can say that they are women and then compete against women. Thank you. Women's sports will go down the toilet. Thank you. Serena Williams couldn't even compete with a guy who ranked 200. Couldn't even compete with him. Ranked 200. Debate would carry on existing for hours. Uh, fascinating. Thank you all very much indeed. We've got to leave it there. Thank you. Uh, you can join in all the debates. Log on to Crazy. .uk I'm telling you guys, this issue is hot. I've got a lot of opinions on it. I don't even think I'm done with this, honestly. I think we got more to talk about here. Sorry, but I'm going in. See y'all next time.